Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello and welcome to this lesson of Typical Spotfire. In this lesson, we'll be learning about detailed visualizations and the visual drill downs. So we learned about visual drill downs and how they work. But what we've not learned is how to limit our data and according to that, use our visual drill downs. So let's get right to it. When we go to our area over here, here I have got data of uh, World Bank indicators. And right now I've got some data. So by default, what we usually do is go and create a detailed visualization. And what happens is that according to this, for example, it limits the data accordingly. So if I select online, and I limit the data by perhaps the sales. So what happens is that our data drill down has already been limited by the following marking. So what we need to learn now is how to limit our data with the help of visualizations that have already been created. So here we've got our visualization. This is the unit cost versus country, the sales versus profit, and the sales versus cost of sales. So here we've got our different types of uh, scatter plots. Over here we've got trellis of different countries. So right now when you filter your data, everything is filtered accordingly. And as you can see, it's filtered. It's pretty easy to see. And there's no data to display over here. So let's say what we have to do right now is we have to create a visualization. So what we might want to do right now is filter this using a marker. So right now what we can do is we can go to our data and over here we have two important sections. We have the marking section and we have the limiting data using marking. So what I want you to do right now is to think about this marking over here. Right now, when we go to the marking sector of this, we know that the marking assigned to this is blue. So to mark this data with that, what you have to do is go to the data and mark it with blue. And after marking it with blue, you can close it. When you select a piece of data, it is limited according to this marking. As you can see, without creating a detailed visualization, you have limited your data accordingly. So let's try it with something else. Let's uh, maybe create it without uh, a detailed visualization. Here we have it. We have got the price by maybe I want to work around this. So we've got the sales by profit, and I think that's wonderful. Uh, however, when we click on this, it filters it accordingly. But what I want you to do right now is to filter both of these on this. So I will go on this and I will first select this and check it's a blue marking. And this will be a blue marking. So I'll change this marking to red. And this marking will be blue. And this marking will be this color, but I want to select both of them. So when I select data from here, and I select data from here, as you can see, both are selected, and then it filters out data. So what's happening here is that the data selected from both of these tables filters the data over here. So perhaps in your data drill downs, what you want to do is analyze your data accordingly. So as you can see, maybe I selected data over here. And then I selected data over here. After that only, our data pops up over here. So many of the times we want to filter two different types of tables and according to it, we need to analyze our data. Right now over here, we've got our unit cost versus country. And over here, we've selected some random data. And in our price per unit cost, we've selected some random data as well. What we might want to do right now is go to our data and select a country 
and change the color and the palace to understand this better. As you can see, if you select a mass of data over here and a mass of data over here, this is a pretty useful way to visualize your data and drill down into the answer. So as you can see, if you drill down into the sum cost per country and the price versus unit cost, you'll notice that in China, you observe these type of data. So a good fact about this is that you can observe this data on a whole and maybe even drill down even more. So based on this data as well, I can maybe create a detailed visualization on a table. And on this table, I can note what type of data this is and take it out and understand why it's over here in China. So I hope you've understood how to visualize your data and drill down according to these values. And I hope you've understood how intersecting these values work. There's another thing, however, you need to learn. Let's close this uh, over here, which is, of course, related to the data drill down. Now we have options for all markings and so what happens is that if I choose this data and this data, then only this data appears. However, if I choose this, then what happens is that it chooses any of the data that is not intersecting. So for example, if I deselect this and deselect this, nothing is selected. However, if I select this, this still shows me the data, even though this is not selected. So it's according to your requirement whether you choose or or and but basically what happens is that if you select and you have to select both the data to get a resulting data another thing that you can do is that if no items are marked in the visualizations you can show a message on the empty background so for example we can type a message mark items to display visualization And then we close it. So what happens is when we deselect both data, we get the message mark items to display visualization. So this is a good way to clean up your data along with your data drill down as well. So I hope you've understood how to drill down data according to markings and how to drill down data according to detailed visualizations. And I hope to see you in the next lesson as well.